Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri once again. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this beautiful uh, fruit falling, it's a fruit juice sort of a commercial effect. So this is the first part where I'll show you guys how to set up the simulation of these fruits. And this bottle is going to be animated from the bottom. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fill it up with some fruit juice and stuff. So uh, this is basically the effect. And uh, the raw render is something like this. And the background and everything is uh, the depth of field and everything is composited uh, in After Effects, which I'll show you guys later. But for now, this is our effect and this is what we'll be creating. All right, so let's move on to 3D Studio Max. Here is our 3D scene. So I've baked all the objects uh, and the bottle is just moving from the bottom. So, uh, and we have some lights and stuff. So let me show you guys the basic setup, okay? So I'm gonna go move forward and I'll just select geometry and I'll select all these geometries uh, except for these two. And I'm just gonna right click and hide selection. And let me show you guys how to set this up using tie flow. So what I'm going to do is create my tie flow and uh, I'll go into the editor. It's a fairly simple example. You can basically go and, I mean, the, the easiest way to do it would probably be to go and create a simple physics flow and we've got this so we got this uh, these objects right and they're falling so i'm just going to move this up and uh, scale it up and we'll go with a uh, uh, hundred frames uh, sorry a hundred frames and the total to be like 300 particles so now we've got this animation, right? And now what I'm going to do is basically for the shape, we're just going to remove the cube and add these two objects. So we'll add selected. And if I put this uh, after the physics shape, then they're just going to just put this physics shape um, at the bottom. You might want to do this a few times because sometimes it won't work but in this case it does and now they're just falling so we have all these objects and they are falling to the ground and colliding with each other and stuff right so we've got them just like that yeah uh, and now they're moving kind of fast because of the playback so just turn off real time and now they're moving fast and then at the end uh, we will turn on the real time and stuff so yeah uh, you can you can definitely increase the size of these objects so i can add like a scale operator and set it to like 200 and now they're much bigger and now they look a lot more better and uh yeah, so they're falling on top of each other, and then what I did for the collision of the bottle is that, so you'll basically, uh, and you can see that they're not sort of uh, colliding properly, and that could be an issue, which I didn't uh, mention. So what you need to do is go to physics shape, and if I display this now, they're like, boxes right so they're not like the object itself so i'm just going to change the type to be mesh and now they will collide properly so if i have to turn the thing off the display hole off and now if i play this uh, i might want to sort of change the order a bit the shape and everything Just put it below as well. Or you can just go back. Sometimes it, it gets this error when you use the preset. So you just add a physics shape again. 
and just put it here. Even if you select convex hole, it'll probably be all right. Yeah, so now, because of the preset uh, was using boxes and it was set to like box, that, that was creating the problem. But uh, convex hole is also doing the job properly. So mesh will be a bit heavy because of the detail of these meshes. Convex hole will do the trick just right. Okay, so now we've got all these objects sort of falling on top of each other and colliding properly. And for the collision of the bottle, just you can create like a bottle. Uh, and by the way, the project file for this is available on my Patreon just right now. So you can just go and grab it. Uh, it is included, all the model and the texture and everything is included there. So you can go and check it out. And you would definitely support me as well in the process. All right. So thanks again from my patrons, And you are more than welcome to join. Okay, I'll go back here and I'll just draw a cylinder from the top view, just as like the bottle. And you can just animate it going up and just like that and move it. So you can bring the keyframe from 140 frames, like 20 frames. And then for the collision, we're just going to use a uh, collision, a physics collision, sorry, physics collision. And we, we're not using the regular collision because, of, you know, physics collision will act much more better in these cases. So I'll just put this one and I'll pick the shape. And now what will it do is once the particle settles here and they go and now they will collide with these objects so yeah so you can you can definitely time it and do all sorts of that stuff i'm just showing you guys the basics of how i did it and then for the retimer uh you can select tie flow and like turn on retimer and set it to by speed and we'll go with like 40 and now they'll be like 40 percent um slower and here's an interesting problem that happened that i want to show you guys how to solve so once you turn on retimer the object will not the, the collision will not be proper so the collision will be somewhere here so what you're going to do is you're going to export your objects. You're going to export your particles as objects, export particles, uh, all the thing uh, as objects. And once you're exported with that, if I go back and open the scene from my original scene, I'll show you guys how I did it. So I exported all of the particles as objects. So let's open this first. All right, so here's our scene, and I'm just going to go to, like, standard mode, hit P for perspective. So I exported them with the retimer, and what I did was I adjusted the animation of the bottle. So if it was, like, 40% slower, I adjusted uh, the animation of the bottle to be slower, 40%. Uh, so you can, you can basically calculate the number of frames it takes. Uh, to be 40% 40, 40 less speed and I positioned it according to you know where uh, that animation started with the retimer so it will take a bit longer than usual so I moved the keyframes and you know made some distance between the keyframes so that it would look like it is also moving slower so it, you have to like tweak it a little bit and uh, I I tweaked it and I got this result, so it's looking pretty nice. If I go into the final render, so they're like moving with the slow motion. So there's no other way to work around it. Um, at least I don't know any other way, but this was the way that I did. So it's kind of like faking it, but it looks pretty nice. All right. And as far for the lighting, I have four different lights here from four different angles. And for the material, um, I'm using a 
fortify we don't need these materials so they're like extra i have a v-ray fast asus s2 material and i got the overall color to be red and the subsurface color to be dark red and that's what's giving me this beautiful uh, subsurface scattering effect and it looks pretty nice and what i did uh, was I got like a multi sub object material uh, for the first three textures I've used the same material and this green one was for the uh, leaves of these strawberries right so because they had like four different IDs so I had to like uh, use four different materials the other ones are the same just for the leaves there's the green material and that's basically it and yeah so this was the the gist of it and i've shown you guys how to do it with tyflow and everything and the material and the lighting and as for the compositing i will be including a separate tutorial on my patreon page so if you want to grab the project files for this and the compositing tutorial you can just go ahead and join my patreon page all right, so this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it would mean a lot to me if you do. And as always, till the next one, enjoy working.